Hi everybody, it's April and my craft room is probably as clean as it's going to get. So I thought I would do a quick tour and share with you where I do my creating. And I'm going to try and go really slow. I'm not going to go through every little nook and cranny, but I'll go really slowly or try to so that um, I don't make anybody ill. I'm going to back up for a minute. I'm in the basement. And my basement is not finished so when you look in the door to my craft room this is what you see and I should say doorway because there is no door I'm gonna walk slowly forward this was my daughter my youngest daughter's room she uh, when her older sister left wanted to knock out the wall between their two rooms and I said that wasn't such a great idea so her father made a room in the basement so the walls have I think one by sixes behind them sorry got interrupted by the daughter so anyway I don't really want my basement finished because I don't want to have to feel obligated to clean it however this is kind of finished and I still am obligated to clean this area, but I don't have to clean the whole thing. So I'm going to slowly walk forward and just kind of do a counterclockwise tour of the room. So I've got lights in different places to uh, make it easier for me to see what I am doing. So sorry about the glare on that one. This is actually a shoe rack that my husband made for my daughter and I've filled it up with all kinds of fun things. I've got envelopes, adhesive, my distressing stuff, and photo boxes like with sentiment stamps and that kind of thing. Sorry. This is a tray that has jars that have brads and googly eyes and sponges and whatnot. I kind of switched places and turned that bright light off. These are the hanging wire racks that I got when archivers went out of business and they're really good for paper pads so that I see what paper pads I have and they're not stuck on a shelf. And that is a shutter that I got for Christmas from my daughter to put cards that I've gotten. And then those are the paper trays that hold eight and a half by 11 papers that is from archivers. So I'll come back around and this is my crafty kitty. He likes to sit on my desk. My daughter says it's because this light is warm, which could be very much the case. This is the desk where I do my project life and my cards, although I'm seriously considering moving my cards to my other table because I stand up a lot in order to stamp while I'm doing cards, but I haven't made that decision yet. So I'll just slowly, this is my typewriter and I do some journaling on it. I haven't lately. I need to get back to that. And what is sitting on top of that are things that go into my Project Life albums that are like memorabilia. There's the cat. There's my little turn thing from Hobby Lobby. There are the wood veneers for Project Life and other things, glossy accents. Pearl pins. I like these old drawers that I found at Hobby Lobby. They're useful, they're not too terribly big, and they are they give the room some character. And I put my 6x6 paper pads in this particular one. I've started a collection of those. And I'm going to back out very slowly. Uh, if you look on top of the white shelf, there is a wooden box that has my Project Life cards in it that I've shown on my blog before. There's a Stampin' Up, no, that's not, it's my Stampin' Up ink, Stampin' Up ink, 
in, uh, I can't think of the word, in the container that I got at Archivers. And a snack, of course. That file cabinet drawer has inks in it. And there's a box sitting on top of that that has different things for cards, like card bases and white sheets that go inside cards for Operation Ride Home and whoever else I make cards for. That is my sewing machine. And if you, I'm going to go in here a little bit. I um, ordered a whole pizza box of wood stamps from Club Stamps and I put them in the bottom of this basket so that I wouldn't forget that I had them because I love the rooms that have everything in drawers I think that is awesome looking but if I don't see it I will never remember that I have it that's my computer and I'm gonna move out slowly there's going to be a chair that's going to roll by. <laughs> Wasn't quite so slick. <clears throat> this cart is a computer cart that my aunt had and she wasn't using it anymore. So I've got my Silhouette eCraft Machine, my Cricut Imagine, and my Cricut Expression and Expression 2 on that cart. My room is kind of, my mother used to say that she decorated our house. It was the early attic. And that's how I've decorated my craft room. I'm going to call it early attic because it's a hodgepodge, a mixture. I'm kind of backing up here so that you can see this all and then I'll zoom in. That's a chest of drawers that my husband's parents found. They collect antiques and I, I like antiques. Plus, it's very functional because it has all the drawers. Although I put my punches in the drawers, and of course, I don't remember I have them. So, love the drawers, but again, I, if I don't see it, I will not remember that I've got it. Okay, so I'm going to move very slowly so I can show you what's above the cabinet. I'm going to kind of turn my light down a little bit. These are waterfall racks that I got from Archivers, again, when they went out of business. And I found that they fit in pegboard, just like my trays. And I'm going to go up slowly. Got all my 12 by 12 paper trays here. So I used the waterfall racks because I wanted to be able to see the dies that I have and so far it's working well but you know I change my craft room on a regular basis and that's the vagabond that I got for Christmas I love it love it love it I'm so happy I've got it it's so much easier than hand cranking this is my Fiskars rotary trimmer and that's the one that I use most while I'm home. It's not very portable, so I don't really take it with me. And then this I'll back up very slowly. Hopefully I'm not making anybody ill. These are shelves that I got from Target and when I rearranged my room last time I just stacked them on top of one another. And as you can see the drawers that I like see if I can get the glare off of it I've been I told you I'd been collecting them I wasn't kidding I'm gonna go up a little so on the top are things that I don't use a lot or things that if I use I know I'll go up there to get them so like embossing powder I don't have to remember that I have it I just know where it is when I use it and then I've got the jars those some of those came from the ones with the chalkboard label came from Pier 1. And they hold washi tape. And I'll scoot in so you can get a better look. So there's my washi tape. And then I have cards in the jar in the back for any hero cards that I fill out. This jar came with something when I bought something at Sam's. 
so I've just repurposed it to hold acrylic blocks and then this is the little rounder that holds my Tim Holtz distressed ink daubers and then the drawers here and all across have stamps and other things that I've want to use or do use and I can fit in the cubbies like the shaving cream there's a tutorial out there on how to make cards using shaving cream to make a background haven't done it yet but I will that's another container from Hobby Lobby kind of looks like a toolbox that I thought was cute it's not as efficient or functional as the drawers are but I bought it so it's mine and you probably are guessing that red is one of my favorite colors because a lot of my drawers are red and in the black and white 31 bag I have my embossing folders and in the basket I have more stamps and then in the plastic containers are just different things that I use like computer cords and I think some stamps are in there and just a plethora of things all right so when my husband built this room he also built a TV stand and I'm not gonna go up to the TV because you'll just get glare but he put the TV stand and then these shelves in so I have been using these shelves trying to clear out what I don't use anymore. I had a DVD player, that's why I have these DVDs. But that was confiscated by my daughter because her DVD player didn't work. These are more wooden containers from Hobby Lobby. Of course there's the drawer in the middle, but there are these cute wooden things, and I'm on my knees so hopefully I'm not shaking it too bad, that have like dividers. So I am the member of the Unity Stamp of the Week Club, so I get a Unity Stamp every week and I put the stamps in that container. Again, so I can see them, so I'll remember I have them and use them. And then those are my Stampin' Up! stamps. And then this down here is just kind of junk. Um, not really. I mean, I've got my cinch binder. I've got pictures and memorabilia that I need to put in albums. I've got some creative memory 12 by 15 page, pages that I want to sell. And then like my kids' graduation robes and stuff for vinyl. I haven't started doing vinyl yet. Okay, I'm going to get up, so try not to get sick. But I am going to do vinyl. I really am. I'm gonna go slow. I'm trying to. This is my center table. It was actually my dining room table and then both of my daughters moved back in and I was kind of scrunched up in my formal dining room because that's where my office, my work office, ended up being. So I thought, well, you know, I really like all those rooms that have those tables in the center of the room. I don't use it as much as I would like but I think it's just a matter of making myself use it. Uh, on the side of the table, I'm going to go down slowly, I have a plastic shelf that has scrapbook projects that I'm currently working on. And then I'm going to walk slowly. These iris containers have 6x6 six six paper pads that I use for Project Life and the coordinating ephemera and washi tape and stickers for that. So I'll go back up here. I've got another one of those turn holer dudes to hold the scrapbooking tools that I need. And then I have these swivel chairs that are pretty comfortable for sitting in and it is a I don't, it's a bar height table I guess so I have two of those in case I can get anybody to come scrap with me 
and pens, stickers. I'm going to go around the table slowly, come back down. That box has Operation Write Home cards, and then that's a cart that the wheels broke off of to hold more scrapbooking projects. And then this is just, these are more tools for me for scrapbooking. And I'm going to come around here. This is just a page that I need to get a title for. And I'm standing in my doorway again, and I'm going to back up. And this is my Expedit shelf that I got from somebody on Craigslist. And if you look at the top, that is my daughter's giraffe collection that she left behind because she collects giraffes, but she really doesn't. So I put them all up there because I think they're cute. And if you also notice, I'm gonna go slowly. There are two giraffes at the bottom. So I'll walk over here, just, you know, a general overview. I've got some 12 by 12 paper trays that I got from archivers when they went out of business. That is a little frame with the word Emily or the name Emily, which is my youngest daughter's name and what her name means. And then this is the frame that has my oldest daughter's name and what it means. And this shelf just has all kinds of things on it. A lot of albums, pens, and colored pencils. And this is my signed version of a compendium of curiosities. And actually my youngest daughter Emily, who also worked for Archivers won, but she gave it to me. Because she loves me. Okay, I'm going to back up, and these are my shelves from Michael's, and you aren't going to get a full view, but it ha they have mostly paper, um, books, mostly paper and books, my camera, some other stuff. And if you go up on the top, I use that box that I made out of one of the box inside the box is for spraying, like glimmer mist. The white box I made with push pins and white foam core board. And I used to take my pictures in there. I, I don't take those in the white board as much anymore. I'm moving. Don't get sick. And I'm going to come around here and show you the last thing. <laughs> That's the furnace. Part of my early attic theme. This is my shelf. And I have to back up. We had at Archivers, when we were diversifying, where it said our story on the wall because we started selling different kind of project pieces so we got into the wood and this was part of what we did so when we closed because you know story it's my last name so I had to have that and I'm gonna kind of go in a little I've got some punches sitting out so that I remember that they're there I've labeled my Tim Holtz distress ink and put it out so I can see it and I've got my I Love Archiver stamp and my Yorkie stamp and my BFF got me this little plaque it says I'm not bossy I just know what you should be doing it fits me to a T so that's my craft room Nothing fancy, but I like coming down here and hanging out. 
making my cards and doing my scrapbook pages. I hope you all enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.